Hey guys, it's Chloe. So, first of all, sorry if there's like a shit ton of background music in this. Um, I didn't mean music. <laughs> I meant noise. Sorry if there's a shit ton of background noise in this. My mom's currently making dinner, so like, preach to her, but sorry. So, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be talking about how I came out as transgender. And lots of people have messaged me being like, Chloe, help! And I'm like, okay, like, I couldn't get back to all these people, so I was like, I'll just make a video about it. I'll just make a video and be like, this is how you do it. No, I'm just kidding, but like, I'm just telling you guys my story and my experience, so if you guys can take anything out of this, that'd be perfect, that'd be amazing, and let's just get on with the video. So... I did my coming out, it wasn't ever like a BOOM! Surprise bitches, like I'm transgender, <laughs> like it was like very slow, very like, what's that word, like, <laughs> it took a long time for me to actually come to terms with it, um, so first of all, let's just start off with me when I was little. When I was little, I would always wear my sister's clothes. I would always dress up in my mom's, like, shoes and t-shirts and pretend I was, like, a princess or whatever the fuck. And, um, I always put on my mom's makeup. And I was, like, literally three at this point. And one time I was in the bath and I was like, Mom, like, when can I cut this off? And she was like, oh, shit. Like, uh, like, uh. But she obviously didn't want to take me in somewhere and, like, try to enforce it. So she didn't want to enforce anything, so she just waited for me to come to terms with it myself. And throughout my whole life, I always played with Barbies. I always wanted to do what the girls were doing. I always was into everything like that. And anyways, once I hit grade seven or eight, I decided, hey, I want to see if maybe I'm into boys because I think that I might like boys. And so I, I kissed a couple boys and I was like, oh my God, like I'm such a badass. Like I kissed a boy, like, woo. So I decided at that point I was bisexual. And I was still presenting as male at that time. So I go through my middle school years, and when I decided to come out as gay, my guy friend group completely left me. Like, I had a group of really close, like, five friends, and they all kind of just ditched. Which is fine, like, I'm fine, like, I have another, like, I have close guy friend. I have close guy friend, yeah. But I have, like, I've repaired my bonds with most of those people, and I have new friends anyway, so like, fuck them. But I decided to come out as gay, I think I was in grade 10 or 9, and anybody who ever said I was gay, oh, it, I just took such offense to it, and I'm not saying that like gay people should look to take offense to being gay, but like, being called gay when that's not something that you actually are on the inside is like, fuck dude, like that really sucks, like I was like, oh fuck, like. So, after a while, I was like, holy shit, why does this not feel right? Like, why do I not like being called gay? Like, that's what I am. Like, I'm totally gay. And one night, Taylor Smith, she's one of my videos, she came over and she was like, hey, have you seen this YouTuber? I was like, what? She's like, yeah, her name's Gigi Gorgeous. Like, she's transgender. And I was like, transgender? Like, uh, like what is that? Like, uh... And she was like, oh, just like watch her videos. And I was like, okay. <laughs> So I watched her videos and I was like, I was like, holy shit, like that's literally me, like, uh. So, lo and behold, I watched like 300 of her videos and I was like, oh my god, like that's literally me, like, holla, like. And then I found other YouTubers that I liked, like Princess Jules, Angela Vanity. So I found other YouTubers that I could completely relate with and I was like, oh my god, like I need to start doing something about this. So. The summer of my grade 11 year, I was like, hey mom, like, is there any way I could buy some wigs off the internet, like off eBay, like synthetic ones, because I really want to cut hair. <laughs> I really want to cut hair. <laughs> I'm so smart, you guys, obviously. Um, but I got the wigs and I... Obviously, like, I trimmed them just to, like, make them look, like, cool. But, um, then I started wearing them, and I started doing my makeup, and I started, I guess, coming across to people as a drag queen, because I was not full-time female yet at that point. Um, so I would, like, post pictures on my old Facebook and be like, this is, like, who I am, like, and I was like, this is sort of, like, 
what is going on? Like, I made a post on my Facebook, like, my obviously current Facebook, and I was, like, last year, last summer, and I was like, hey, guys, I'm coming back to school, like, as Chloe, like, that's who I'm going to be this year. Like, I'm not Chase anymore. Like, I'm the new me. Sorry, I do this thing with my elastics. It's so weird. I just, like, play with them. Sorry, I don't know. It's, it's, uh... <laughs> but, yeah, so that was sort of, like, the start when I was presenting, like, part-time female. And I, at this point, I was seeing a gender psychologist to get my testosterone blockers. Um, so, at the very beginning of grade 11 year, I started to present full-time female. Now, the way I came out to my parents was interesting. Um, so I was in the hot tub one night with my friend Taylor Smith, <laughs> and my mom came out, and I called her out, and I was like, look, mom, like, there's something that I, like, really need to talk to you about, and lo and behold, I came out to her as transgender, and the way she reacted was so incredibly amazing, and so supportive, and in that moment, she was like, okay, are you sure? I was like, yeah. She's like, okay, let's get started then, and I was like, I was so excited and I was just like so ready to go and started to do it and I know that I was so lucky with the way that my parents reacted like I was so scared to tell my dad like I was I cried about it I was like so worried about it um and he kind of refused to call me by my pronouns and my name for a while but uh it was like a learning thing I think for him too and he was losing his son I guess so that sucks obviously for him but after a while, I had some serious talks with them, and I was like, Dad, like, you need to get your shit together, because if you call me by the wrong pronouns or name in public, that's seriously putting me in danger, and if you keep doing this, then you're going to lose your kid. And I know that that's, like, so drastic, but for me, like, this is literally my life, and this is my safety, so I needed to put it, like, into serious terms. And after that, after I brought up the whole safety thing, I think he sort of, like, understood more. And that's good, like, I'm glad that he got it. And I'm glad that I didn't have any, like, major problems with him. Because if I did, then, like, I would be out like a dad. Like, how fucking awful would that be? Like, So, my family didn't all know at once. Like, my distant family. My distant family from Alberta were very skeptical and very hard to understand what was going on. So, they weren't very accepting at first, but I went out to Alberta. I met them all, talked to them. We're fine now. Um, and my grandma is obviously so supportive. My grandpa is so supportive. Everybody that lives here in Victoria with me is so, so, so supportive. Um, and I love them all to bits. Like, they just found out slowly but surely because I didn't really have a coming out. I just kind of told everybody what I felt was ready. And, yeah, that's literally all I did. Um, at school, I showed up. I was like, hey, guys, I'm Chloe. Nice to meet you. Like, I've been reborn. Like, <laughs> So everybody at school was supportive, except for, like, a few people. But, like, honestly, fuck them. Like, you gotta do what makes you happy. Because in the end, you only got yourself. So just live it up. Live your life. Come out whenever the fuck you want. You need to do what makes you happy. Fuck the haters. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All my social media will be linked down below. Go follow my Instagram. Like, ugh. Um, But, yeah, I love you guys all so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.